Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to another episode of Coffee with Kristen. Everyone go grab that cup of coffee or whatever it is that you like to drink in the morning. I do not judge. <laughs> so whatever that is, go grab that and let's talk some finance. Today on Mortgage Q&A with AJ, AJ explains how we can use points to our advantage. Let's take a quick look at today's episode. Today, we will be talking about when is it a good time to pay points? What are points? Wow. I'm sure everyone has been wondering what points are. We've talked about it in every episode almost. You've been dangling the carrot I know. of points. All right. So <laughs> points, let's just, it's very basic, right? Uh-huh. It is a percentage of your loan amount that you're deciding to pay to get a lower rate. I don't know about you, but I never really knew what the points were or how they worked. <laughs> Thankfully, I was doing the interview, so I got to ask those basic questions. I know there are so many people out there like me who have gone into buying a home, learning as they go. In the process of buying a home, points were never really explained to me, and I would assume they rarely are. That's why this episode is great. It'll give prospective homeowners a head start in their planning. And even if you already own property, these are tips that you can start applying now that will ultimately affect the amount of money that you pay each month. Today on Cunningham Legal, Jim talks about asset protection in California. Here's a little sneak peek at today's episode. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Today, we're going to talk about California asset protection. We're going to talk about the California private retirement plan and the homestead exemption. Jim explains the difference between asset protections and wealth preservation and why they are both important. Even though a lot of these rules are universal, every state is different, so this episode is really targeting California residents. After everything that has happened with the pandemic, Jim addresses how we truly live in a different world now. People feel uneasy and uncertain about what is in store for their future, and more than ever, people are wanting to protect their wealth. After what we all experienced this past year, having these fears and concerns are completely valid. We haven't even seen the extent of the fallout from what has already occurred, so making sure that your assets are safe is key. They aren't just telling you, okay, go out there and do exactly what we are saying to do, but they are asking you to take what you have learned on this episode and go to your local professional and ask the questions, which after this episode, you will have a better idea of what to ask and the best ways to get yourself protected. One of the examples he gives is the homestead exemption, and that is how the value of your home is protected in each state. But each state has different values that they attach to your home. For example, in California, the homestead exemption is $175,000, even though the median price of a home in California is $800,000 now. Whereas in Texas, the homestead exemption is up to 200 acres. Some states are based on the dollar amount and some states are based on the size of the property. This is why we tune in to watch these episodes, because Jim has so many more examples of this, and it's completely fascinating. So just be sure to tune in. And thank you again for joining me on this fine Tuesday on another episode of Coffee with Kristen. I hopefully will see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>